At the time of its construction, in 1937, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco was the tallest and longest suspension bridge in the world. Although it's lost both of those distinctions now, it's still considered to be an architectural masterpiece that draws in tourists from around the world. But even a masterpiece is not without its flaws. One problem that has plagued the bridge since its inception is resistance to wind. Suspension bridges are vulnerable to something called resonant oscillation, which means that wind can cause the bridge to sway in a way that twists it beyond its structural limits. This is what caused the Tacoma Narrows Bridge to collapse in 1940, just three years after the Golden Gate opened. The Golden Gate was designed to sustain winds of 109 kilometers per hour, but the winds across the San Francisco Bay can often exceed that. In 1983, for example, the bridge was temporarily closed when winds reached speeds of 120 kilometers per hour, well over the limit of the bridge. In 2019, a plan was passed to modify the bridge design to improve structural stability. The idea was remarkably simple. The previous design featured wide slats under the railing that were oriented horizontally with the wide side facing against the wind. The new design would simply orient these slats sideways, drastically decreasing wind resistance and allowing the bridge to sustain winds of up to 160 kilometers per hour. However, this created a new, unexpected problem. You know that whistling sound that a bottle makes when you blow over the top of it? Those are called aeolian tones. And they're not caused by the bottle vibrating, but by the wind creating high and low pressure zones, which leads to something called vortex shedding. That's what happened with the new slats on the bridge, except instead of the power of your mouth, it was 100 km per hour winds, and instead of one bottle, it was thousands of slats. The sound coming from the bridge could be heard all the way across the bay in Oakland and beyond. As annoying as the sound must be on a windy day, there is a certain musicality to it. In fact, the tones created are 354, 398, 439, and 481 hertz, which roughly correspond to the notes F, G, A, and B the notes that comprise an F chord in the Lydian mode, a musical mode that's known for creating a spacey, ethereal kind of mood. Humans being humans, there are already people making musical collaborations with the Golden Gate Bridge, such as Nate Mercero, who put out an album called Duets Golden Gate Bridge. It's almost as if humans are hardwired to find the beauty all around them. <laughs>